This tool will help you build a $10,000 3D website without coding. Most website builders stop at drag and drop functionality. But what if you could create a site that moves with your audience? That's exactly what Dora allows you to do. Real-time 3D models, animations and more. All without touching a single line of code. Just like this and this. I'm going to walk you through how it works and by the end of the video, you will have everything you need to create 3D websites. Overview of the Dora platform. Alright, let's dive into Dora. First, go ahead and sign up or log into the platform. Once you're in, you'll be greeted by the project panel, which is basically your main workspace. It's where all your past and current projects will be displayed. If you're new to Dora, this panel might look a little empty, but don't worry, we'll fill it up soon. To create our first project, click on the Create New Project button. You'll see a pop-up window asking you to name your project. Let's call it something simple like Travel Website Mockup so we can keep track of it easily. After naming it, pick a canvas size from the drop-down options. There's mobile, tablet, and desktop. For this tutorial, I'll select desktop since that's common size for most web designs, but feel free to choose what fits your needs. Once you're done, hit create and get ready to see the main interface. That's where all the magic happens. When the main interface loads up, it might feel a little bit overwhelming, but it's your first time using it, but don't worry. I'll walk you through it step by step. Over to on the left, you've got your page and components panel. This is where all your different pages and components will be neatly organized. It's super handy for managing your designs when things get more complex. Up at the top, there's a tool menu where you'll find options to create containers, add text, or insert 3D elements, which we'll be using in a bit. One thing you'll probably notice right away is the canvas size dropdown in the top toolbar. It lets you switch between different canvas sizes like mobile, tablet, and desktop. I'm keeping it on desktop for now, but you can easily switch as you build your project. Now take a look at your right panel. This is your contextual menu, which changes based on what you've selected on your canvas. So for example, if you click on a text box, it'll show you all the text editing options like font, size, color, and alignment. It's super intuitive and right in the center, you have your main canvas. Think of it as your blank space to bring all your design ideas to life. The default view you're seeing is your homepage, but don't worry if it feels a bit bare right now. We're about to change that. 230 importing 3D models. All right, now let's make this project a bit more visually engaging by adding a 3D model. To get started, head over to the top tool menu and click on the Create 3D Widget button. From the drop down, select the Grid Layout option. This will automatically create a responsive widget that adapts to different screen sizes, making it perfect for creating dynamic designs. With a widget setup, it's time to import a 3D model. Dora currently supports GLTF and GLB formats, so make sure the model you're using is in one of those formats. Now, let's find a 3D model that suits our travel-themed website. Head over to Google, Poly, or Sketchfab.com. Both create great sources for free 3D models. I'm going to search for a 3D globe to represent global travel. Make sure to filter the search results for animated models if you want something dynamic. Once you've found a globe you like, download it into your computer. The downloaded folder will probably have several files, including .pen and texture files. To make things easier, we need to combine these into a single GLB file. For that, go to GLTF to GLB Converter. I'll drop the link in the description below for you. Just drag and drop all the downloaded files into the converter and it will generate a new GLB file for you in seconds. Now that you have your GLB file, head back to Dora and click Import. Select the GLB file you just created and in a few moments, you will see your 3D globe appear right in front of the canvas. If it's not in the right position, don't worry. You can click and drag it around the canvas or use the position sliders in the right panel to adjust it. We'll make it spin in a bit, but for now, let's just get it placed where we want it. Setting up and adjusting the 3D model. Now that the globe is in place, let's make sure it stands out. First, select the model and you'll see a bunch of settings pop up in the right panel. Let's set the background color of the canvas to soft blue, something that complements the globe and makes it pop. Just go to the canvas settings, click on the background color and pick up a shade that works for you. If you notice that the globe isn't spinning yet, it's probably because the animation controls aren't activated. To fix that, click on the model, scroll down to animation controls and turn on loop animation. This will make the globe keep spinning continuously, adding that dynamic effect we want for our site. To help you navigate around the 3D space, use your left mouse button to rotate the model, the right mouse button to pan around and the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. If you want to move the globe to a specific spot, click and drag it or for more precision, use the position sliders and the right panel. This gives you total control over where and how the globe appears on your page. Creating layouts and adding text. 
With our 3D globe in place, let's add some text elements to go along with it. Click on the create text box from the top menu and type something like discover the world with us. For a polished look, we want this text to stay centered on the page, no matter where the screen size we're using. Go to constraint options and set the alignment to center both horizontally and vertically. This way, our headline will always stay centered, giving the page a balanced look. Next, let's add a subheading that says travel beyond boundaries. Once you've typed it out, let's make sure it stays linked to the main heading. Select the subheading, click positioning options and link its position to the main heading. This way, whenever you move the headline, the subheading will move along with it, keeping the same spacing. Now let's add a call to action button. Click on create container, set the background color to a vibrant orange and add some text inside it that says learn more. Center the text inside the button and adjust the border radius to make the edges smooth and rounded. With this setup, the button will look clean and responsive on any screen size. Final adjustments and adding parallax effect. All right, now that we have our main element in place, let's add some finishing touches by incorporating a parallax effect to give the design a more immersive feel. Parallax is when background and foreground elements move at different speeds, creating a sense of depth. We'll use keyframes in Dora to achieve this. First, let's start by selecting our 3D globe. To set up a parallax effect, you need to animate the position of the globe as you scroll down the page. Click on the globe to bring up the contextual menu in the right panel. Then navigate to the animation section. From here, you'll see a small add keyframe button. Go ahead and click it. This will create your first keyframe at the very top of your page, setting the initial position for the globe. Next, let's scroll down a bit on your canvas to where you want the second position to be. Once you're at the desired point, click add keyframe again. Now you'll notice that a second keyframe appears on the timeline, representing the new position. What we want to do is make the globe move upward slightly so we scroll down, creating that smooth parallax effect. To do this, adjust the y-axis value in the right panel, just increase the value slightly and you'll see the globe shift up. Make sure to keep the movement subtle as too much will look unnatural. Once you've set up the y-axis position, hit play on the animation timeline to see how it looks. You should see your 3D globe smoothly showing up as you scroll down the page. This subtle upward motion makes it feel like the globe is floating in front of the background, adding a nice 3D depth. Adding parallax to text elements. Now, let's do the same for our main text elements. Select the Discover the World with Us heading and add your first keyframe at the top of the canvas. Next, scroll down and add a canvas keyframe just like we did before. This time, instead of moving it up, we want it to move down slightly, giving the impression that the text is moving at a slower speed compared to the globe. Adjust the y-axis value downward just a bit and you'll instantly see the parallax effect in action. When you review the page, the globe should float upwards while the text moves down slightly, creating a layered effect that feels interactive and visually engaging. This little touch can make a huge difference in making your design feel more dynamic. Setting a background animation for enhanced parallax. Lastly, let's bring it all together by adding a slow moving background. This will enhance the parallax effect even more. For this, we'll use the cloud video we added earlier. Select the background video and just like before, add a keyframe at the start of the page. Now scroll down, add another keyframe and this time move the background video slightly up on the Y axis. This will create a scenario where the background moves up as the foreground elements move at different speeds, adding that extra dimension to the design. When you preview everything, the result should be a beautiful 3D parallax effect. The globe floats upward, the text moves downwards, and the background shifts gently in the opposite direction. All of those elements working together gives the page a dynamic and professional look, making the user experience more engaging. Final preview and wrap up. With all the animations and parallax effects set up, we've transformed a simple web page into a fully interactive, visually engaging design. The key here is to use small, subtle movements to create a big impact. Play around with the keyframes to experiment with different speeds and direction until it feels just right. Once you're happy with how everything looks, hit preview to see the entire project in action and you're good to go. Conclusion And there you have it, a fully functional 3D website built in no time, thanks to Tora's powerful features. It's pretty clear that this isn't your average web builder, right? With 3D animations, keyframes and no need for coding, Dora is a game changer for anyone looking to break out of the ordinary. If you want to see what else it can do, check out the link in the description to explore more tutorials. And before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Smash the like and let me know in the comments what features you're more excited to try out. See you in the next one.